All right, what's going on YouTube? Today we have an unboxing from 637 Collectibles on Instagram, so let's get into it. All right, here's what was in the box. The first up is the Audi R8 in its 2008 new models. Now, this one has actually the metal base with the plastic top. I only know about it because I have one from when I was a child loose, so it's actually pretty cool to have. The car did as well. Next up, we have the 2015 Dodge Challenger. I didn't have this color, and I kind of needed another car to make it worth like shipping so here's just like another film it's kind of looking kind of looks like a zamag but it's i'm pretty sure it's painted on um next we have the boulevard series the dodge caravan and now i never owned the dodge caravan as my parents never owned one but i do have family members that have had one and i just think it's pretty cool to have like i don't know just like a car from my childhood in, in a way and i think they're kind of underrated because like check it out it's like a dope ass van some sick wheels cool paint job with, I think a little bit of flames. It says Dodge and stuff. That's pretty cool. I think this is my third or fourth Dodge Caravan in my collection. Now, the last car, I couldn't pass up on it because, of course, it is the Volkswagen Golf MK7. Now, I don't have an MK6 because they don't have MK6s in Matchbox or Hot Wheels or any other company. So, this is the closest I can get. But, this is also another one that I did not have in my collection. And I got it for a pretty good deal because the blister it seems like it's coming off. I might just put a piece of tape on it or something like that. Maybe clear glue. Here's the rest of the set that came with it. I didn't. I don't really want any of them. I just wanted the golf, so I got it for a pretty good deal. This one will probably get hung up or something like that. But yeah, thank you again, six three seven collectibles. All right, guys, this is everything that they have. <laughs> this is insane. They literally have like nothing. What the hell? And this is the target about my place. Bruh. Oh, look at this. It is the Mercury. Pretty sick. That's the only thing that's new that I don't that I've never seen before. Everything else. I've already seen. That's crazy. Alright, I made it to my Walmart. Check it out. This place doesn't have anything either. This is crazy, man. I got this. I'm not in the Star X Men, otherwise, it's Star Wars. <laughs> Brian Spark, Paw Patrol, lots of those. Damn, man, this place is dry. Uh, oh, check it. Pan Ams or MPs. Pretty cool. 1960. Little on Stitch, Volkswagen. Man, that's crazy. I ain't got nothing. No, Alright, made it to the Target across the street. There's nothing here either. As you can see, nothing. Nada. I got these premiums, but just that. Nothing else. Empty, empty, empty. Alright, guys, made it to my work Target and they still got this stuff. How, why are they, how are they getting this and why are they getting this? 2017 or 18. One five pack. Lots of Mario Karts. Lots of Cyber Trucks. No Matchbox. Damn. That's it. Oh, this is going to be a short clip. Made it to a five below and check it out. I don't have this one. Helix. Mercedes. Oh, that one's actually pretty cool. Take that one. Mazda. Oh, yes, the Rio Subaru. I have the white one, but not. I didn't have the red one. The Sunbar. RGTI, another one. I have a good amount of those. What else is there? Mustangs, plenty of Mustangs. On this side, what's on this side? More Teslas that I just saw. What's this, Bronco? Oh no, it's a Defender. A lot of Teslas. I'm gonna continue going through the middle. I 
found flying customs. They want three dollars a piece. That's like aftermarket price. That's what people are selling them for. <laughs> so I don't know if I want it that bad. I just want that super super chase. I'm not sure if it's this way or not. I I kind of doubt it though. But there's everything the 180, the 510, the Torino, Volkswagen. So no dots in on this one. Alright, made it to the Target. I didn't go to the Walmart today. Didn't really find anything last time. So here's the micro machines. Or micro machines. <laughs> Nothing. Two Johnny Lightnings. Four Matchbox. There's somebody there. Not get them on camera. Ooh. Got these old transports. Sort of my favorite one from this set. Of course, all of the R32s are gone. This is pretty still. I like this one a lot. Pretty cool. Here's a Hoonigan. That also just fell. <laughs> Other than that, there is nothing. No more lines at all. Correction, there's one R32. Right here. Oh, this is the original set though. Huh, I'm gonna be right up front for the next person. What's going on YouTube? Today we have an unboxing from the homie 1503 diecast. Um, I love the name that he puts on me. Everything is different, I love it. But let's get into it. All right, now this first one that is in the box, uh, he actually threw in because uh, I asked for one other premium with the same similar decals, and I can only show the face on the sides. Uh, I will have pictures of them later, so appreciate it. 15, it is an unspun, but this thing is sick. I'll, I'll probably, I, I most likely will have pictures on my Instagram later this week, um, so be on the lookout for that at Derek Sidecast. All right, I had to turn on the light because this thing is just gorgeous. I'm not a huge fan of gasters, but I had a thought of a custom because I saw the Flying Tiger. And if you guys know the Flying Tiger gasser, you guys do know where this is going. But I had my own Flying Tiger custom 55 Bel Air gasser. Now, of course, I had to have the JDM touch to it because I love the Japanese culture, like Japanese cars and stuff like that. But this thing is super, super sick. Look at this red. My fingerprint's all over it now. Look at this red. Look at the top. Look at the back. Interior is painted as well. This thing is just gorgeous. I love this red. The blood red uh, candy color is my favorite. Thank you so much, Kibo. This thing is sick. I'm not sure if he is taking any... Um, commissions at the moment but i will leave a little comment here saying if he is or not but just be sure to follow him on instagram at 1503 diecast because this man pours everything he has into a custom the thing is awesome thank you again kibo what's going on youtube i hope you guys enjoyed today's video here's everything that i picked up um through the mail and in store and of course this but of course here is the dodge caravan that i showed the audi r8 that i showed dodge challenger the golf mk7 almost hit six the tesla roadster the subaru svx by designed by ryu and the mercedes and of course cannot forget this gorgeous custom by 1503 diecast kibo shout out to him but I did meet up with the homie, so let's get into his stuff. I did meet up with the homie Garrett, and he did have a box of stuff for me. Because I, what we do, so he's kind of local to me, about an hour out from me. So he builds the box for me. I build a box for him. He Then we meet up one day, either at his place or just for dinner, which is what we did today. And we just, you know, I trade the box. You know, we either we, whatever we got for, maybe a little bit more. It all depends on how we feel, really. But this thing is gorgeous. Look at this Eno 64. It's a, here it is. It's the Nissan Silvia S13 Rocket Bunny. This thing is super sick. I will probably open it because this thing, I like it a lot. I do have the black GTR 
the Pandem kit from the Mini GT. The Falcon Team Transporter. I did not have this one. I was looking this one, for this one for a while, and he got it for me for a pretty good deal. So, thank you, Garrett. Well, thank you for everything, of course. I did get the Ford Raptor and the Majorette. Didn't have one. I thought it was pretty dope. Opening hood. Two from two from the Honda series, the Honda Civic SI and the Honda Odyssey. Not the best conditions, but that's all right. Those will still be hung up in my room. I got the the I was about to say Johnny Lightning, the Ford Lightning, the Arc Seven One Eighty SX, the Land Cruiser Red Edition, Mustang GT Five Hundred. This is the Dodge Challenger, the Red Prelude, and the Black CRX from the. I don't know. I never knew what set this was called. Somebody comment below what set this was because I never knew the name. Uh, although with the proper name, people would call it Night Burners. People would call it Night Tuners or Night Burn. Night, I don't know. There's many names to it. So comment below what what the set was called because I just honestly forgot. But this one was probably one of my favorite. It's not the favorite from the set because it's just all black with the wheels and the the banner. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Shout out to everybody who I bought from. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at DerekSideCast. Peace.